All right, kiddos, McDonald's needs to have a new store built as soon as possible. You three have been tasked with the job. Whoever can build the best McDonald's gets $100,000. Best of luck. <gasps> Did you guys hear that? We can make 100K. Whoa, 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 we. He said whoever builds the best McDonald's gets it. I'm definitely winning that. It's, what? No way. I can 100% build a better McDonald's than you. Well, guys, I'm probably going to win since you guys haven't even started yet. And, oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, Ruby's right. She already started. Okay, okay. Well, uh, here, I got to get started on my build too. Uh, what do we need? What do we need? I guess the main thing we got to get are all of the McDonald's. McDonald's colors. So let me grab some yellow concrete, some red concrete, and some white concrete. And all right, I'm about to build the best McDonald's ever. What? No, I'm building the best McDonald's ever. I'm getting that 100K, boy. No, you are not. I'm definitely going to build the best one in here. I'm going to make mine absolutely ginormous. I'm making mine go all the way out to over here. This thing is going to be the most crazy McDonald's ever here. I got to build all of the walls first. So let me just build the walls going all the way around the entire McDonald's. I'm sure you can make yours big, but don't touch mine. And yeah, don't worry, Ruby. I'm not getting anywhere close to yours. And, uh, are you building yours at an end stone? What the heck? Uh, yeah, the bricks are a nice touch. Uh, that looks kind of interesting, but here, I'm just gonna keep building these walls around the entire McDonald's, and all right, nice. That looks pretty good. Now, what I need to do is stack up these walls. So let me just grab a magic wand really quick, and here, check it out. What I can do is select this position over here, and also this position all the way in this other corner, and then if I look up and run the command slash slash stack, uh, seven, check it out. I can stack the wall up by seven let's go oh yeah well i'm starting on my mcdonald's too i'm just adding the outer layer right here and what you right that you call that a mcdonald's dude that doesn't barely look like a mcdonald's that looks like just a normal store oh no this is what mcdonald's looks like uh, what dude where are all the mcdonald's colors you don't have any yellow or red uh, dude go look at a mcdonald's right now and this is exactly what they look like what no dude they have a bunch of yellow and red all over them i don't know what you're talking about yeah i don't know having it be gray is kind of sad looking and yeah cam you're supposed to make your mcdonald's look super happy and exciting but here i just added a layer of yellow blocked around my McDonald's. So here, I'm just gonna stack this up a few blocks as well. There we go. And ooh, wait a minute. I think I know what can make this look really nice. What if I add a stripe of red concrete in the middle of this? Let me just select all of this, and then I'm just gonna run the command slash slash walls red concrete. There we go. And ooh, there we go. Now this is really starting to look like a McDonald's. This looks awesome. But anyways, the next thing I need to do for my McDonald's is of course add in a door where people can get in from. So here, I guess I can just have that door be right over here. This looks pretty good. Let's see. What type of door should we use for this? And oh, wait a minute. What if we use a big red door? Check it out. We can have these red doors over here. We can have one there and then another one over here. Yeah, check it out. That looks awesome. I guess I can make this door hole a little bit smaller. Um, Does that actually look awesome or do you just think that it looks awesome? What? No, what are you talking about? This does look awesome. We have like the white walls and then we have the red door standing out. And here, what I'm also going to do is add a bunch of white windows all across the side. This is going to make the McDonald's look a lot more open and nice. And in fact, I can just do this with commands. Let me select this position and also this position all the way over here. And here, I'm just gonna set this entire part of the wall into some white stained glass. That looks awesome. And whoa, wait, Cam, yours is actually looking a lot better since last time I saw it. You have the McDonald's logo now. <gasps> wait, I gotta do the same. Hey, stop copying me. It's my idea. And what, dude? The McDonald's logo is not your idea. Wait, I totally need a logo too. Oh my goodness. I I'm gonna have to build with a wall so you guys can't copy me. And what, dude? You did not invent the logo. Every McDonald's needs a logo and I think this one over here looks pretty good, although it doesn't really stand out enough. Ew, yours looks like it's been peed on. The what, dude? Is it just because it's yellow doesn't mean it's been peed on. Yours looks like it's been peed on just as much. Uh, no, look, mine's bright and happy, and it's got the big M, and yours is uh, dull and looks like it's been peed on. And okay, fine, fine, fine. I'll use yellow concrete instead of yellow terracotta. I thought the yellow terracotta would look good, but anyways, that looks pretty good. And now what I'm gonna do is just add a little bit of white concrete around it like this, just to make it stand out a little more. I think this should make it look a lot nicer. So there we go go. That's looking pretty nice. Let's go. That actually looks sick. And ooh, wait, wait, hold on. What I could also do to make this look a little bit nicer is just have the logo stick out one block like that. And hey, there we go. That looks awesome. And here, what I should also probably do is move the door underneath the logo so that everything looks really nice and centered so we can just have the door be uh, right over here. I think this should be pretty good and nice. And let's just get rid of the old door and uh, we can also extend these glass walls a little bit. And boom, there we go. Guys, the outside of my McDonald's is pretty much done. Now I gotta work on the inside. So uh, let's see. The first thing I gotta do is set the floor, of course. I guess I can just set the entire floor to be made out of a little bit of gray concrete. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. And oh, wait here. We also gotta set the roof. So what I was thinking is we could just have a roof up over here like this. And we can just set the entire roof into some white concrete. That works. And all right, now let's hop back over here on the inside. And all right, now we gotta actually like deck out the interior and like put down all the furniture and chairs and all that stuff. So let's see. 
What do we need first? And oh, the, well, the first thing we need, of course, is the counter area where people can like buy their food. So uh, let's make that right over here. In fact, hold on. We should probably move it a little bit this way so that we can have some room for the kitchen in the back. So here, let's just build the counter just like this. We got to build it nice and big so that we can serve a lot of customers at once inside of our McDonald's. And uh, here, let's grab a trap door and put that right over here. This can be where the employees can like get in and, you know, do their stuff. And anyways, now that we got this countertop, we ought to actually add like all of the food and stuff behind the countertop. Oh man, you guys are inside already. I'm still working on the outside. Yeah, my inside's looking awesome. And wait, what, Ruby, you're still working on the outside of yours? Hold on, does your outside look good? Um, I don't know. Don't look. Uh, the what, Ruby, why are you building it out of bricks and, and stone bricks? What the heck is this? It looks nice. You just have to trust the process. <laughs> okay, okay, if you say so. But anyways, I'm going back inside of my McDonald's here. The next thing I gotta do is add a big wall over here behind the countertop. So I'm just gonna use commands to do this really quickly. Let me just select all this and run the command slash slash set concrete. Boom. There we go. Let me just set the roof into some concrete as well. There we go. And all right, this is looking pretty good here. Let's add a little door over here so that people can get into the kitchen like that. We can just have it be a pretty big door. And all right, nice. Now we have all the rooms that we need for this area. Now what we got to do is put down all of the cash registers and the food and the ovens and like all the stuff to cook food. So here, I guess let me go ahead and grab a few cash registers and oh yeah, we could just put a few of these all over here like this. We could put down a bunch so that we could serve a bunch of customers all at once. I'm going to have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, there's a lot of cash registers. 10, 11, uh, yeah, 11 cash registers. Wow, my store is actually huge. 11 cash registers? Oh, man. Yep, we're gonna be able to serve everybody in here. Nobody is gonna have bad service. Well, I'm only gonna have six cash registers, and then I'm gonna have a place where they can, like, order on the app. What? Okay, well, Cam, what if, uh, your customers don't have phones? Well, I'll also have, like, a little TV here they can order from. What the? Okay, wait, yours is sounding pretty cool. I might have to copy some ideas from that, but anyways, here, I'm just gonna add a whole fence over here on the cash register area so that people can stay in line and, you know, everything can stay super neat. So there we go. That's looking pretty nice. And all right, I think the cash register area is just about done. Now what we got to do is actually put all of the food and stuff back over here. So I guess let's go inside of the kitchen and start working on that. Let me just grab a little bit of everything we need for the kitchen. I guess we're going to need a few ovens. Uh, we're, let's grab some fridges. We're going to need a lot of fridges since we're going to be serving a lot of customers. What else? What else? Ooh, what about a microwave oven? And of course, what we also got to get is an ice cream thingy here. We got to put down the ice cream thingies over here like this. At this McDonald's, the ice cream machine is never going to be broken. Let's also put down a few of these fridges over here. There we go. And let's put down a few ovens as well. Nice. That's looking pretty awesome. And all right, what else do we need in the kitchen? Oh, I guess we're probably going to need like a little table where like the chefs can, I don't know, cook their food or something. I don't really know what goes on back here in the McDonald's. So here, I guess I'll just build this table back over here. We can build it pretty big in case people need to, I don't know, a lot of people need to cook food on it or something. There we go. That's looking pretty nice. And all right, what else do we need in a McDonald's kitchen? Oh, uh, you're obviously gonna need a sink. How are your employees supposed to wash their hands? And, oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. I need to have a sink. Okay, okay. Let me grab a sink real quick and I'll just put that down uh, right over here. This is where uh, people can like wash the dishes and wash their hands and stuff. So here, we'll just have a few sink stations over here like that. That's looking pretty nice. And ooh, wait, wait, hold on. I know what else we need. We need to have a blender for people to actually like, you know, uh, the blend smoothies and stuff because I'm pretty sure they have smoothies at McDonald's, right? Uh, yeah, I think so. They're my favorite thing. Yeah, so we're gonna have some blenders there, and let me also add a few blenders on the table over here. We gotta have a lot of blenders, you know? We gotta be able to serve everybody, and let's also have a few microwave ovens on this table. This can just be the appliances table. Yeah, that looks pretty good. And all right, anyways, I think the kitchen should be about done now, but wait, there's one last thing I need to do. I've got all of these uh, equipment here, but what I need is also some materials. So let me grab a few chests really quick, and here, I guess we can just have all of the cooking materials be right over here here on top of the ovens. Yeah, yeah, th this looks very good and safe. Let's just hope that none of these chests fall over or anything. But anyways, now we got to figure out what actual uh, foods we're going to serve here. So I guess the first thing we're obviously going to need are some hamburgers. So let's just grab a few of those. Nice. Uh, we can just eat those inside of the chest. Let's see. Are there any other types of burgers we could use? And <gasps> whoa, wait, there's a bunch of different types of burgers. There's like the normal burger, the cheeseburger, the uh, chicken burger. Oh yeah, we definitely got to have a chicken burger in there. And oh wait, look, there's another cheeseburger. And wait, what's this thing over here? A burrito? Wait, guys, does McDonald's serve burritos? I don't think they do anymore. Well, they do now. I'm putting this in my chest. Let me just open up the chest and put all of these in. Boom. There we go. We got to have some cheeseburgers in here, a few chicken burgers, uh, some more cheeseburgers. And then in this chest, we can just have it be filled with a bunch of burritos. Let's go. Let's see. Let's see. What other 
stuff does McDonald's usually serve? And ooh, wait, wait, they serve smoothies pretty often. So let's see, are there any like smoothies or drinks I can serve? And whoa, wait, there's a lot of different drinks. What the heck is this? The speedy energy drink, healthy energy drink, stealthy energy. Whoa, wait, there's just like a bunch of energy drinks. And wait, what? Deadly energy drink? Okay, I don't think I'm gonna be serving that one. Wait, that sounds kind of awesome though. And whoa, wait, there's one called the super energy drink. Okay, well I I'm just gonna grab all of these except for the deadly one. That that sounds like uh, it'll get me in trouble. But here, everything else can go inside of this chest and we could have a double row of these super energy drinks these are probably going to be in high demand and all right what else what else i've still got two chests that i haven't filled up with anything yet so let's see what else does mcdonald's serve inside of their menu and oh, wait a minute what about some desserts desserts are probably going to be important and whoa okay yeah we have a lot of different types of desserts here i guess i can grab some uh cupcakes that we could serve uh oh we could serve some cookie cakes oh we should also probably serve some normal cookies as well we can grab a few of these what else can we serve let's see let's see Ooh, what about a triple decker cake? Ooh, wait, wait, we could just have like a bunch of these over here pre-prepared. Yeah, there we go. That looks pretty nice. And then we could also put all these desserts inside of this chest right over here. And then finally, in this last chest over here, we should probably just put a few raw ingredients for making hamburgers, just in case these hamburgers over here run out. We can just have some fresh ingredients in here in case anyone wants to make a fresh hamburger. So, of course, we can have our meat, a steak. We're probably gonna need a little bit of cheese. And ooh, yeah, let's grab some of that. What else? What else? Can we get any lettuce? And oh, yep, yeah, we can certainly get that. Let's get some lettuce. What about tomatoes? Ooh, yeah, let's get a tomato. And ooh, wait, we should also probably get some onions. Yeah, let's grab those. And okay, this should be all of the uh, standard burger materials. Let's just put those all in the chest like that. Nice. And okay, guys, my kitchen is complete. This thing is actually looking awesome. Oh, yeah, mine's looking awesome too. Let's go, let's go. But anyways, now that I've got my kitchen and my front cash register area, I need to have a way to actually connect these so that people aren't just like constantly running through this door over here. I need to have like some windows where people can pass food. So I guess we can just have a few windows over here like this. We can have one there. We can have another one right over here. Actually, we should probably move these sinks over here. We don't want them to be in front of the window. There we go. That works. Oh, and we can also move this microwave over here so that there's nothing blocking the window. And all right here, let's also add one last window right over here. And pretty much these windows are just going to be where people who are working in the kitchen pass food to people who are working out over here. So we can just have a little bit of glass over here like that. And all right, nice. This is actually looking pretty awesome. But anyways, this is still far from being complete. We still have a lot of things that we're missing inside of this place. Like, we don't even have any seats yet. We're definitely gonna need to have some tables and seats. So, let me see. What type of tables could we use? We gotta find the best and... <gasps> Ooh, wait. These ones over here look pretty cool. The modern tables. Yeah, okay. These look pretty nice. We could have those and then, let's see. We also need some chairs. So, let's see. What type of chairs can we use? And, ooh, wait. What about these yellow ones over here so that everything looks like all McDonald's themed? Yeah, this could be good. But hold on. Let me break this table over here. We gotta have our tables be a little bit more organized. So, uh, I guess we could just have a few tables over here next to the window. There we go. That looks pretty nice. And then we can have a little wall between each of the tables so that people can have a little bit of privacy. There we go. This looks really nice. Let's just repeat this going all the way down to the front of the store. Well, anyways, we've got these chairs and tables next to the windows, but we also got to have some chairs around the middle of the store as well. So let's add those in next. Here, let's just put down the tables like that and then the chairs over here. My store is going to be able to fit so many people. It's going to be crazy. And in fact, hold on a minute. I'm pretty sure there's a much faster way to actually do this. What I could do is just grab another wand and let me select this position right over here and also this position over here and then check it out if i look this way and run the command slash slash stack boom there we go we instantly have another row in fact let me do slash slash stack one more time and check it out now we've got another row of tables i think we have room for one more row so i'm just gonna slash slash stack it one more time and there we go check it out oh no, wait hold on that kind of broke the fence over here but everything fits so here let me just put down the fence again and all right awesome this is looking pretty sick not as sick as mine i Bet. What? No way, Ruby. Mine is definitely sicker than yours, but I feel like we've got a little bit too many chairs and tables, so uh, why don't we just go ahead and get rid of the ones over here in the back? There we go. That looks pretty nice. Yes, you've been talking a lot about your McDonald's. It has to be good. Let me order something real and, quick. Oh, oh, wait. You want to order something? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I got you. Here, let me just uh, hop behind the counter really quick. We've got, like, everything here. Okay, uh, we'll see about that, but uh, the, where's your menu? Uh, the, oh, my, my menu? Uh, I, I kind of forgot about that. I, I, I was about to build it, yeah. Uh, okay, but uh, we'll, we'll can I get a Happy Meal? Wait, you, you want a Happy Meal? Uh, okay, we, we kind of don't have those. I'm not going to lie. What are, oh, you don't have a Happy Meal? That's like the big McDonald's thing. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Yeah, you're right. Oh, no. I'm going to lose all my customers. Uh, uh, okay, well, Cam, come back in uh, a few minutes. Hold on. I got to make some changes. Uh, okay. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Wait, Cam's right. We don't have a Happy Meal. That is actually really bad. Um, Let's see. Let's see. How do we make a Happy Meal? Oh, I guess what I could do is just grab a yellow shulker box, and then I can put the Happy Meal inside of here. So uh, let's see. Let's see. What do we need for a Happy 
meal. Uh, I, I guess we're gonna need a burger, right? Let's just grab uh, a cheeseburger. Where are the cheeseburgers at? Oh, there they are. We're gonna just have a cheeseburger in the middle. And then, ooh, wait, we also need some fries. Do we have those? And oh, yeah, we've got fries. We can just put down a few fries around the cheeseburger like that. There we go. That's looking pretty good. Uh, what else do we need in a happy meal? Let's see. Let's see. Oh, we're probably gonna need a drink. So uh, let's see. What type of drink could we get? Ooh, what about one of these super energy drinks? Let's grab one of those and uh, we could put that in there. And hmm, okay, what else do I need to put inside of a happy meal other than like food and a drink? Well, you need to put a toy, of course. And oh, yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. That's like the most important part. Okay, what type of toy could I put in there? I don't know. Cam, what do you like to play around with? I don't know, like a toy, like a plushie or something? And, uh, dude, no kid is gonna like playing around with a plushie. Those things are so boring. What about like uh, TNT? What? No, you can't give the kid TNT. Are you kidding me? Kids will get bored with anything nowadays. Uh, that's not boring. That's dangerous. They're so ungrateful. Mm, okay, okay. Well, if I can't put TNT inside of it, what other types of toys can I put? I need to give these kids something interesting. Uh, I can't just give them a plushie because that's way too boring. Well, what about something good for the mind? Uh, let's see. The, what about a Rubik's Cube? Nah, Rubik's Cube is boring. What about poop? Okay. Nah, I'm kidding. I don't think that would be very healthy. Let's see. Let's see. There's got to be something good I can give them, though. <gasps> Wait a minute. Hold on. Are there basketballs? And Oh, yeah. I'll just give them a basketball. These things are awesome. Oh, yeah. That's that's good. Every kid loves sports. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll put a basketball in there, and then I guess we can just fill up the rest of the Happy Meal with some fries. Let's go! These things are gonna sell like crazy here. Let me just go ahead and pick it up really quick, and let me grab an anvil. And here, I'm just gonna go ahead and name this thing Happy Meal. There we go. And all right, I'm just gonna make an entire new area of chests for this. I'm just gonna have like a whole double row of chests right over here, all filled with Happy Meals. Let's go. And all right, all right, there we go. We have the Happy Meals done. Let's see, is there anything else I'm missing in the kitchen? And uh, no, I think we have about everything. And oh, wait, I need to add the menu, right? That's the next thing I need. So here for the menu, I was thinking I could just have some item frames and I could just have those over here like this. I could have another set of item frames over here and then one last set over here and also one more over here so that we have a, an even amount. And then let me just go inside of the kitchen really quick and just grab a little bit of every single food that we have. You grab some cheeseburgers, some chicken burgers, some more cheeseburgers, uh, some burritos. And wait, wait, hold on. This, these burritos give me an idea. Hold on. Are there lobsters? <gasps> wait, 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 there's lobsters. Hey guys, should I serve lobsters at my McDonald's? Well, how does that make any sense? I don't think McDonald's sells lobsters. Uh, well, they do now. This is gonna be a luxury McDonald's. I'm gonna have uh, a few lobsters over here uh, right next to the cake. Yeah, that seems like a pretty fitting spot. I've never heard of a luxury McDonald's before. Nah, this McDonald's is exclusively for billionaires. That does not sound normal, but uh, I guess you could keep it. And yeah, I'm gonna keep it. And ooh, wait, I also gotta grab all these drinks and put them on my menu as well. Let me grab a little bit of all of this. And let me also grab some of the desserts that we have. We got some cupcakes, some cookies, cake, some normal cookies, some triple decker cakes, and uh, let's see what else. Ooh, we also gotta have the Happy Meal on display. All right, well, now let's go out over here on our menu, and let's just put down all of these items. We can have our burgers, our cheeseburgers, our chicken burgers, our cheeseburgers, our burritos, our lobsters, <laughs> and of course, our Happy Meals as well. And oh, wait, hold on. I didn't have enough room for all of the desserts and the drinks there. I, I guess I can just put the desserts and drinks on this menu over here. So here, I guess I'll put down all of our desserts and drinks over here. We could have all the cakes over here on the first area, and then we could have all the drinks on the second row, like that. Nice. That's looking awesome. And oh, wait, wait. I guess we can have the dessert menu again over here on this side. And then over here on this next menu, we can have all of the normal food again. So we can have like the burgers, Happy Meals, cheeseburgers, all that. And then on the final menu over here, we can have all the desserts again. So it goes like alternating from food to dessert to food to dessert. And yeah, it should be pretty good. Let's just put down all of this. Nice. This is looking pretty awesome. Let's go. Now I've got menus and I've, I've also got Happy Meals. And oh, wait, wait. Actually, hold on. There's still one thing I'm missing. You guys you guys know how McDonald's has like TVs above their menus to show like their special items for the week and stuff? Oh, yeah? Yeah, I'm putting one of those down right now. It's gonna look sick. Ooh, yeah, that's looking awesome. Gonna have a few TVs over here. There we go. Uh, let's see. Are there any smaller TVs I could use? Oh, yeah, there's a medium flat screen TV. I guess we could put that down over there. Oh, that's actually a little bit too small. Never mind. I guess we'll just use more of these large flat screen TVs. Yeah, there we go. That's looking pretty awesome. And all right, nice. But anyways, this is actually looking pretty nice. We've got the menus. We've got the TVs. Hmm, what else do we need inside of a McDonald's? Wait, guys, you know how, like, McDonald's have a playground? And wait, a playground? Oh, yeah, right! Like, they have, like, those little, like, playground areas in some of the stores. What about that? Well, I'm gonna build one of those. I think I'm gonna get more customers than you if I have one of those. Oh, wait a minute, hold on. That actually is a pretty good point. I should probably build one of those. That's gonna make the McDonald's so much more, like, fun. Wait, are you kidding me? I just said I was gonna do that. Oh, well, uh, I mean, you kind of gave me the idea. You were asking for it to be stolen. What? But anyways, uh, uh what can I build for my little playground? 
playground area. Wait, Ruby, what are you gonna build in your playground area? Uh, I'm not gonna tell you much, but I'm like, I have a slide and stuff. Oh, oh, fair enough. Wait, wait you have a slide? Doesn't that sound a little bit boring? I think I have a really good idea. What if I build a whole go-kart track? Uh, that's gonna cost a lot of money, isn't it? Yeah, but since this McDonald's is meant for, uh, only billionaires, it should be fine and it should pay for itself. Here, what I'm gonna do is build the go-kart track on the ceiling over here. This is gonna be awesome. This is actually gonna be the craziest McDonald's ever. Honestly, if your McDonald's doesn't have a go-kart track, then uh, what are you doing? Uh, yeah, I, I think I'll pass. Yeah, you're missing out here. What I'm gonna do is just set this entire ceiling into a little bit of gray concrete. There we go. Nice. That's looking pretty good. And oh, wait a minute. I think I got a really cool idea. Okay, okay. Hear me out. Hear me out. I'm just gonna get rid of a little bit of the gray concrete over here. And here, what I was thinking is we could have the little go-kart track area over here. And then over here on this side, we could have a few seats right over here. And they're gonna be like balcony seats. So you're gonna be able to see like the bottom area of the store. That should actually look really cool when it's done. Here, let me just go ahead and build it really quick. I guess the first thing we're probably gonna need are some fences around here because I do not want anyone falling off. Oh yeah, that would be bad. Yeah, I would probably get in a lot of trouble if that happened. But here, we could just put down these fences over here like that. Nice, that's looking pretty good. And oh, wait, actually, I think I may have gotten an even better idea than having balcony seats. Instead of having some seats over here for like a balcony view, why don't I grab a little bit of glass and just build a big glass platform over here and build some seats on top of this. This can be like the VIP seats or something because they'll be able to see below them and it should look really cool and stuff. So here, let me just set this entire floor into some glass really quick. There we go. And then let me just go down here and grab some tables and chairs again. And then we could just build some more tables and chairs right up over here. This is about to be wild. We could have some of our yellow chairs and then we can have some tables and then some more yellow chairs. And yeah, we can pretty much just copy what we have going downstairs. So here, let's just go ahead and put down all of our yellow chairs and our seats and some more yellow chairs. And yeah, we can pretty much just copy what we have going downstairs, except have it up here on top of this glass floor. Okay, nice. There we go. This is looking pretty good here. I think we have enough room to just select all of these seats and just slash slash stack it one time like that. And okay, there we go. The VIP seating area is looking nice here. Let's grab a little bit of yellow carpet. And oh wait, actually, hold on. We got to grab red carpet since this is the VIP area. We can use red carpet for it. And here we can just put down a bunch of red carpet over here to connect all of the tables. This is actually looking sick. Let's open up this area over here and all right nice we've got the vip seating area complete but anyways uh, i kind of got sidetracked there i gotta build the go-kart track now that was the whole reason i built this upstairs so here the first thing i should probably do for the go-kart track is just go ahead and put some fences over here and wait wait if this is gonna be the go-kart track over here and this is gonna be the vip eating area i should probably put a wall in between them since the go-karts are gonna be kind of loud and you know i don't want the vips to get mad so here why don't we just put a stained gray glass wall this should look pretty good that way the people in the vip area can like see the go-kart people but it, it shouldn't be too loud in fact we can just have the walls of the vip room be entirely made out of some of this gray stained glass this actually looks pretty awesome let's go anyways back to the go-kart track here the first thing we got to do is grab some yellow concrete and let's just go ahead and put down some lines on the floor this is just going to make the floor look more like an actual road so here we can just have these lines going all the way across like this and then we could have it turn over here pretty much we're just gonna have this track go in a big loop let's go let's go this is actually looking sick we're almost done i just gotta put a few more of these yellow pieces of concrete like that and okay there we go that looks awesome now what we can do is grab some oak fence and let's just put a little border of fences on the inside just going around the entire track just like this and now what we gotta do is put down some go-karts so let me grab some of those real quick and we could just put down a few of them right over here like this we can have four go-karts in total that looks pretty good and oh wait we also need to have a fuel pump just in case any of them run out of fuel let me grab one of those and also some fuel buckets and uh i guess we can just have the fuel be right over here we can have like uh four fuel pumps one for each go-kart go ahead and fill all of these up with a bunch of fuel and all right awesome this go-kart area is looking sick but <gasps> wait a minute i'm pretty sure i can paint the go-karts hold on hold on hold on let me grab a little bit of spray paint and a crafting table real quick and also some red dye and here here, here. we definitely have to paint the go-karts all red this is gonna make it all look like super mcdonald's themed and <gasps> let's go that is looking awesome here i gotta take this go-kart track for a spin let me hop in one of the go-karts and <gasps> wait let's go this thing is sick whoa do you think that the kids will be safe in that oh oh yeah yeah it should be very safe in fact um, let me grab a few helmets really 
quick and uh, I can just have a chest over here in the front where people can put on helmets because you know helmets are uh, very important there we go now it's fully safe um okay if you say so let's also put down a few gates over here like that and all right awesome this go-kart track area is looking sick but you know what would make this area look even more sick huh? what if you could see the outside over here that could be super cool so let me grab a little bit of glass I'll have some yellow stained glass and some red stained glass and what if we just go ahead and replace all the walls over here with some stained glass I think this could look really cool let me grab my wand real quick and select this and then let me just look this way and run the command slash slash stack uh five actually hold on wait we need to do a bit longer what about 10 oh even longer let's try 14 hey there we go that's nice let's also go outside over here and select this again and then slash slash stack it this way except this time let's do like slash slash stack 30 there we go oh wait even longer than 30 hold on we need to do slash slash stack 40 hey that was perfect and now let's just do it one more time going this way nice and all right awesome now all of the walls in the go-kart room are made out of stained glass this actually looks sick all right well anyways now we've got the go-kart track area complete but hmm we don't really have a way of actually getting up to this uh second floor we kind of just have it here but no way to actually get up so let me just go down over here real quick and all right let's see where could we build a staircase or a ladder or something like that oh actually i guess we could just build it over here so i uh, here let me just go down over here again and let's see where could we uh build a staircase or a ladder or, or anything to get up hmm, let's see let's see i'm not gonna lie we don't really have a lot of room down here to fit an entire staircase and i don't really want to build a ladder because what if someone falls down from a ladder that would kind of be an issue let's see let's see what could i do and <gasps> wait a minute what about i just have some command blocks that can teleport people up there what you're gonna have teleporters at your mcdonald's yep guys like i said this mcdonald's is meant for like very rich people so you know uh, teleporters are gonna be uh nice because you know who has time for walking upstairs anyways i don't know about that one no no guys trust me it's gonna be awesome i'm just gonna give myself a command block really quick there we go and uh let's see where could we put this uh, I, I guess we can just put it over here we've got a lot of extra room we just have a command block right over here with a button on top of it and let me also grab a sign so people know what this is for and we can just put down the sign right over here and have it say uh teleport to second floor there we go and now all we got to do is make the command block actually do stuff so here what we got to do is go all the way up over here there we go and all right let's just stand right over here in the middle of where we want people to be teleported to and here let me just grab the coordinates of this position really quick there we go let me copy those and now if we go back down on the first floor and go into the command block let's just go ahead and write slash teleport and then we got to do at p because that means uh, the nearest person and then let's paste in these commands and okay now if we press this button it should teleport oh wait hold on that kind of worked it teleported us up but it kind of teleported us inside of this block over here hold on i think what we have to do is go back downstairs into the command block over here and let's just uh change this middle number over here to uh 60 this should teleport us one block higher up and now let's hit it again and hey there we go that works perfectly now we just got to do the same thing up over here except for going down so let's just put another command block and a sign saying teleport to first floor nice and now let's go back down on the first floor right over here and let's grab these coordinates there we go and now let's go all the way back up to the command block and let's just go ahead and type the exact same command slash teleport at p to those coordinates and let's press this button boom there we go this works perfectly now we've got teleporters to get up to the next floor there's actually the most high-tech mcdonald's ever oh dash it's been a while and oh it looks pretty nice down here and, oh, oh wait cam you're back uh wait do you want another order i've actually got a lot more things on the menu now as you can see we also actually have a menu now oh yeah give me one second and oh oh uh all right wait, what are you doing back there uh all right dash uh, i'm ready where's your drive through uh wait what drive through uh uh i I don't have a drive-thru yet. Uh, pff, you don't have a drive-thru yet? Check out my McDonald's. It has a drive-thru. What? Do you have a drive-thru? Oh, no. Oh, no. Wait, Ruby, do you have a drive-thru as well? What the heck? Ruby, your McDonald's is looking very weird. Um, what do you mean? I don't have a drive-thru yet, but I'm going to make it soon. Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. Wait, you guys both have drive-thrus, and I don't. Um, okay, that's kind of an issue. Hold on, hold on. I got to build a drive-thru as well. Uh, thanks for the idea, Cam. Sure, but if you win, you have to give me half the prize money. And, uh, what? No, dude. Uh, uh, you did not invent drive-thrus, okay? But here, I think I know exactly how I'm gonna build this drive-thru. I'm just gonna clear out a little bit of room 
over here in my kitchen. And check it out. This could be like the main drive through area. We could have like a little hole in the wall like this. And then let me grab a little bit of stained glass. And we could just put that stained glass over here like this. This can be where the employees serve the customers food. And now what we got to do is build a little road outside over here for the actual drive through So let me grab some more concrete and some yellow concrete. And all right, time to build this road. Let me grab a wand actually. And here, what we could do is just build a little part of this road manually by hand first. So let's just put down all of these blocks like that. There we go. And now check it out. If I select all of this with my wand and then look this way and run the command slash slash stack uh, five, check it out. We have like an instant road. Okay, let me place it in uh, a few more times. There we go. And okay, I think this should be about good. Now let me just grab some fences and we can just put these fences off over here onto the side. Just like that. Looking good. And all right, this drive through is actually looking awesome here. We also have to make this road turn a little bit. So let's just build a little bit more road right over here. And then we can just make it turn kind of like that. That's actually looking really clean. And then let's just build a little tiny bit more road right over here. And then we can select this again. And then we can use the command slash slash stack. Boom. There we go. That is looking awesome. Now let's just put down all of this additional fence. And all right, sick. The drive through is almost done. The last thing we need is an actual area for people to order their food. We have the area over here where people can like get their food, but we have to have like an area where they can order their food back over here. So uh, here, I guess what we need over here is a microphone. Uh, we could also have a camera. Why not? And of course, we also need to have the menu over here. So let's just grab everything we need. We could put down all of the item frames over here for the menu. We can have one big menu just like that. And then we can have the microphone over here where people can like say their order and stuff. And then we could also have a camera over here so that the employee can see like uh, who it is and all that. And all right, awesome. This is actually looking pretty nice here. Now, what we got to do is just fill in all of this menu. So let's head back inside of the McDonald's real quick. And let's just go ahead and grab every single food item that we have on our menu. There we go. And now let's head out again into the drive through and let's just go ahead and paste in all of these items on this menu out here. Oh, uh, hold on. I didn't mean to actually put down the lobster. I meant to put it in the item frame. Hold, let me try that again. There we go. Put down all of this stuff. We can have the burgers, the Happy Meal, more burgers. Uh, we can't forget all the desserts and the drinks. So let's put that down over there. This is looking pretty nice. And all right. Awesome. Our drive through is pretty much complete. The last thing we need to grab is a camera monitor. And let's just link that up to this camera right over here. And then let's head inside of the McDonald's right over here. This is where the employee is going to be. And we can just put down the camera right over here so that the employee you can see who's coming up to the drive through and ordering. And oh, wait, wait, hold on. We also should probably put another cash register in here so that the employee can, you know, like take the customer's money and all that. All right. Well, anyways, nice. We've got the drive through area complete, but hold up. These cameras give me a pretty good idea. Instead of just having one camera out over here in the drive through area, we should probably have a few more around like the, the most of the store. Just, you know, as like security cameras in case anyone tries to steal anything or something. So yeah, here we could just have a bunch of security cameras all around the store just like this. Hold up. I got to make sure to link all these cameras with my camera monitor. There we go. I guess we can also put one over here in the kitchen just to know exactly what's going on in here. And oh, wait, we can't forget to put some upstairs as well. We got to have uh, one over here. Let's have uh, one in the go-kart area. Oh, wait, I can't put them on glass. I guess we can just put it right over here. Yeah, that works. And then let's also have one last one over here in the VIP room. And here, let me link up all of these cameras to my monitor. And okay, nice. Now the entire McDonald's has security cameras. Let's go. Hey, yo, check it out. It's me right over there. Yo, that is one attractive looking face i can't lie uh, dash are you looking at yourself through your cameras uh, yep that's exactly what i'm doing okay you're so weird and hey dude if your face was as attractive as mine then uh, you would do the same no if my face looked anywhere near what yours looks like uh, i'd i'd run for the hills uh, what does that even mean but anyways uh, now that i've got all of the cameras around here i should probably have a little security room so that i can have security guards looking through the cameras and you know just making sure nothing goes wrong so hmm, let's see where could we build this we're kind of starting to run out of space here but <gasps> wait why don't we just build it underground that could actually be pretty good here. Let me grab a ladder really quick and, uh, why don't we build the security room right next to the ice cream areas? Yeah, that seems like a pretty good spot for a security room. A security room doesn't need to be anything too crazy. We just got to have like a small room down over here with a bunch of camera monitors and stuff. So here, let's just clear out a little space for the security room down over here. There we go. This should be about big enough. Now let's just fill in all of the walls with some gray concrete. I, actually, in fact, let's do this with a wand. Let's just select all of the walls really quick. And actually, let's set the walls into some wood. I think that'll look nicer. Let's do slash slash walls wood. Boom. There we go. And then we can just set the 
the floor into some great concrete. Yeah, there we go. And also the roof up here. All right, nice. This security room area is looking pretty nice. But now what we got to do is grab a desk. And this is going to be the main security desk right here. We're going to have one desk over there. And then we're going to have uh, one chair right in front of it. And oh, wait, we can have this grand chair over here. Yeah, this could look pretty cool. Since it's supposed to be like the security guard and he can like see everything. And I guess in front of him, we could just put down uh, the camera monitor right over there. And then, oh, I guess we could also put down a few other like smaller monitors. We could have like one monitor over here. We have another one right over here. So yeah, I, I, he can see everything going on in the store at all times. But anyways, now I guess let's just go ahead and add some ladders over here. But hmm, we kind of have a problem right now. Anyone can kind of just go in the security room and, uh, you know, see everything that's going on. Uh, we can't have everyone be allowed in here. So, oh, wait, what I was thinking is why don't I quickly grab one of these keypad trap doors and we can just put that down over here at the top. And now we have to set a passcode for it. So I guess let's just set the passcode to, uh, Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that's very hidden. And now the only people who could get in are people who know the passcode, which is four, five, six, seven. And if we enter that, the trap door will open. Let's go. All right. Well, anyways, this McDonald's is actually looking really decked out. We got the security room. We got the, the drive-thru area. We got the upstairs. But mm, what else do we need? Wait. Dash, do you have a toilet? Wait, a toilet? Wait, no, that's the one thing I forgot! Oh, man, how are you gonna have a McDonald's without a toilet? Oh, gosh, oh, gosh, yeah, you're right. I forgot that, like, half the people walking in here are just gonna be here to use the washroom. Uh, okay, where should I put it? I don't have enough room! I mean, why not just put, like, a random toilet anywhere? And, uh, the what? No, Ruby, that's a horrible idea. That's gonna, like, make the whole store smell bad. Um, okay, then why do you ask if you didn't like my answer? Uh, I, I thought you were gonna have a better answer, but actually, I think I have a pretty good idea. Why don't I just build it underground, kind of like the security room? I can have a whole underground bathroom area. Yeah, this could be sick. What I'll do is just dig a little tunnel down over here like this. And I'm just going to use my wand to clear out this area. Let me select this position and this position and set this all to air. And then let me look this way and run the command slash slash stack uh, three. And the same over here on this side. And then let me select all of this and then look this way and then run the command slash slash stack uh, six. There we go. That looks pretty good. Actually, hold on. I think we should make it a bit longer. Slash slash stack ten. There we go. Now what we got to do is set everything inside of this room into some quartz because, you know, since it is the bathroom, uh, we gotta have all the walls and floors be made out of quartz because, I don't know, that's just how it is with bathrooms. So let's just do slash slash walls, quartz, boom, there we go. That's looking pretty sick. Let's do the same with the ceiling over here like that. Nice. And finally, let's add a little ladder for actually getting down here. And all right, nice. Now we have a big room for the bathroom. But here, what I was thinking is we should probably have like a boy's bathroom on one side and then a girl's bathroom on the other side. So let's just split up this room into two parts real quick. Let me just use some commands to set this wall right over here. Here, and then let me also use commands to set this wall right over here. There we go. And all right, nice. Pretty much this side over here can be the girls' bathroom, and then this side over here can be the boys' bathroom. And here, we should probably add some signs so that people know which one is which. And ooh, wait, wait, hold on, hold on. These signs look perfect. We can just grab some of these bathroom signs over here and put those down like that. Nice. That's looking pretty good. And now we gotta actually build the bathroom. So uh, let's see. How do we do this? Ooh, uh, I guess what we could do is just build one bathroom and then just copy and paste it on the other side since they're pretty much the same. So here, let's see. What do we need inside of a washroom? <gasps> the first thing we're going to need is a sink because, uh, you know, we do not want anyone with dirty hands. So let's just put down a bunch of sinks over here. We got to make sure everybody washes their hands inside of this bathroom. And ooh, let's also grab a garbage bin. And oh, wait, hold on. This isn't quite what I was uh, thinking, but I, I guess this works. We can have that in this corner over here. And hmm, what else? What else? Oh, now we got to build the stalls of the washroom. We could have like some stalls over here like this. We could have each of them have three blocks of space inside. There we go. That's looking pretty good. And then this one over here is going to be small. It'll only have two blocks of space. Let's select all of these blocks over here and then look up and run the command slash slash stack two. There we go. And now what we got to do is add some doors inside of the stall. So let's just add all of the doors in just like this. This is actually looking pretty nice. There we go. All of the doors are there. Now what we got to do is put some toilets inside of the stall. So ooh, let me grab some toilets and ooh, also some toilet paper. Let's head inside and then we can just put down the toilet there and then the toilet paper right over there. And all right, nice. Let's just do this for every single one of these washrooms. And boom, there we go. The last washroom is complete. This is actually looking sick. So anyways, here, what we got to do now is just select our entire washroom with the wand. So let me select that. And then let me also select this corner all the way up here. And then if I stand right over here, I can just run the command slash slash copy and then go over here on the other side and run the command slash slash flip and then slash slash paste and boom. Check it out. We have the exact same thing copied over onto this side. Although the oh, way, hold on. The sinks didn't quite uh, flip over correctly. Let's just quickly break all these sinks over here and we can just place them back down again manually. There we go. That's looking nice. And wait, hold on. Did the toilets 
flip over properly. And oh, no, the toilets are kind of uh, facing the wrong way. Okay, let's quickly repair that real quick. And there we go. Now all the toilets are flipped uh, the correct rotation. But anyways, the bathroom area is now complete. Let's go. This is actually looking sick. But hmm, wait, we still have this big hallway over here. What should we do about that? We can't have empty space inside of this McDonald's. We got to make sure to use every single space that we have. So uh, what can we put down here? Oh. <gasps> Wait, what about some vending machines? Are those a thing? And ooh, yeah, yeah. Let's grab some vending machines. And we just have a few of these in the corner of this hallway. Nice. All right, Dash, I'm back. It's been a while. Uh, have you made any improvements to your store? And, oh, wait, you're back? Welcome back. And yep, Kim, I've got everything that you said I didn't have. I've now got a drive-thru. Oh, well, uh, do you mind if I order something real quick? And, oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Be my guest here. Let me just hop over the counter really quick. And alrighty, what would you like to order? Or wait, first of all, uh, where would you like to sit? Oh, I'd like to sit in the VIP area, wherever that is. And, oh, 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 the VIP. VIP area. Yeah, yeah, I got you. All you got to do is just hit this button over here and then it should teleport you up. Yes, let's go. That worked perfectly. And the VIP area is right over here. Oh, awesome. I, I guess I'll just take a seat here and uh, I'd like uh, two Happy Meals, please. And, oh, two Happy Meals? Alrighty. Your order will be ready down there in like uh, one minute. Just meet me down there when you're done. What, uh, wait, I have to go down there to get my food? And uh, yeah, how else are you going to get your food? Well, since I'm in the VIP area, I'm pretty sure people would be like delivering the food to me or something. And, uh, uh, the people delivering it to you uh we don't really have like that many people right now um what this is a horrible vip experience one star and, uh, the, what, what, what the one star come on dude that's like way too low I, well i mean i'm not walking all the way down there to get my food just to walk all the way back up here with my food to eat it's not even that hard you just walk down over here get your food and then the, the walk back up yeah no I, if i'm spending that much money on a vip area i want to be treated like a vip and the, what the heck okay oh my gosh uh, what am i supposed to do about this let's see let's see <gasps> Wait a minute. Actually, I think I might have a pretty good idea. What about instead of having people like go up over here and deliver the VIPs their food manually? I have an automatic dispenser system that like dispenses them their food. That should be a lot faster than like an actual human going up here to deliver the food. So uh, here, I guess what I could do is just grab a dispenser and put that down right over here. And then let me go ahead and grab a hopper. And here, check it out. What we got to do is put a hopper right behind the dispenser like that. And then we got to go down over here in the kitchen area just just like this. And all right, check it out. What we're going to do in the kitchen is just have a hopper going. Hey, yo, chicken, get out of the way. We got to have a hopper going out like that. And here, we're just going to make this hopper line go all the way over here, right next to this hopper over there. And then check this out. Right over here, we're going to put down a dispenser. And then we're also going to grab some observers. And then using these observers, we're just going to go underneath and just make an infinitely repeating observer thingy like that. So check it out. They're just going to keep infinitely powering the dispenser. So whatever we put in here will get shot out of the dispenser. And now, what we got to do is make it so that our item from down over here ends up inside of this hopper up over here. And the way we can do that is by grabbing a little bit of glass and just putting that glass on top of the dispenser like this. For some reason, whenever you have a three by three thingy of glass on top of the dispenser like this, whatever you throw inside of it will uh, end up on the top of the glass tower. Check it out. So what we got to do is just build this glass tower going all the way up over here like this. And then using some blocks, let's just go ahead and surround everything like that. And all right, check this out. Now we can just grab a little bit of water and put that inside of this corner over here and perfect whenever any item gets uh, dropped inside of the dispenser down over here it'll get shot through the dispenser go through the big glass tower end up in the water and then it'll end up inside of this dispenser right over here this thing is actually awesome and oh wait actually why don't we go ahead and replace this dispenser over here with a barrel that way people's food isn't gonna get like uh, dispensed onto the floor and they can just come up over here and just grab it this way vips are only gonna have to get up and just like walk over here to get their food instead of having to go all the way down over there into the kitchen. But anyways, this system is actually looking pretty awesome. Let's just go ahead and cover everything up so that nothing breaks. There we go. This is looking pretty awesome. And all right, I think this system should be done now. Hold on, let's test it out. Let me just go down over here into the kitchen really quick. And oh, I should probably put down a sign over here for what this is actually for. Let me grab a sign and I'm just gonna put uh, send food to VIP area. There we go. And all right, check it out. Now, if I go ahead and just uh, grab a bird burger, for example, and just drop it in over here. If we go all the way up over to the VIP area and check inside of this barrel over here, the burger should be inside of the barrel. And yes, that worked perfectly. Okay, this is actually awesome. There's no way Cam's going to be complaining about this now. All right. Well, anyways, with that being done, I'm pretty sure my entire McDonald's is now complete. Let's go. Yep. Mine's done too. You, mine is also done. And, oh, let's go. Let's go. Now that all of our McDonald's are done, we should probably check out uh, the which ones is the best to see which one is most likely to win the $100,000. Oh yeah, we should definitely check 
got mine first. Oh, I'm excited. And all right, all right. And whoa, that's a pretty crazy looking door you have there, Ruby. I'm excited to check yours out. But yeah, wait, let's check out Cam's first. Yours looks very interesting. Yep, I went for the uh, the current McDonald's uh, standpoint. It looks pretty nice. It's kind of gray, huh? It does look a little bit gray. I'm noticing a lack of yellow and red. It, aren't those like the main McDonald's colors? I know this is what McDonald's looks like now. Mm, I don't know about that. It does look a little bit too gray. But yeah, wait, what are these signs? The first McDonald's with a free gym with minimum price. Wait, what? Yeah, and also we have our advertising right here. Make sure to try our world famous fries. Ooh, okay, okay. Oh, they are pretty famous fries, yeah. But if you guys want to step on in, you could see we have your kiosk here that you can uh, place orders on. Whoa, fancy. These are pieces of wool cam. Would you ever talk about that again? Uh, okay, okay, I'm sorry. Uh, anyways, what else do you have in? Oh, these chairs over here actually look pretty nice. Yeah, we yeah. have tons of seating out here, and if you're a little bit more of, you know, like the outside uh, kind of eater, uh, don't worry, we've got accommodations for you. Check it out. Whoa, wait, you have an outdoor eating area? What, what the heck is this? Oh, this is our gym. Remember the sign? Oh, oh, wait, you have a gym inside of your McDonald's? Yeah, so you can burn all the calories you eat here. Oh, wait, that's actually a really good idea. I'm not gonna lie, I kind of want to build one of these. Now, this thing. Yeah, this is awesome. Yeah, the thing is, you uh, to use it for an hour, you have to spend $40. What? Uh, anyway, next, you can check out our menu. We have tons of stuff. We have our cheeseburgers, regular burgers, chicken burgers, Happy Meals, and we got our breakfast menu. We got coffee and cake and everything. And Whoa. Yeah. Wait, what the heck is this thing over here? Strawberry pie? Yeah, we've got strawberry pies. Uh, and we, yeah, uh, here you go, Ruby. Uh, this will be uh, $4. There you go. Here's your chocolate ice cream cone. Wait, how much? I don't want to pay that much. Well, it's $4 for an ice cream cone. That's like standard price. Take it back. I thought it was like 99 cents. Uh, no, not anymore. But uh, uh, we have six cash registers here with uh, seats for the workers so their legs don't get tired. And oh, that's actually a pretty good idea. But hold up. Wait, we got to see what you got going in the back over here. Is this your kitchen? Uh, yeah, I see you have a bunch of fridges. But wait, there's nothing inside of that. Oh, yeah, the food truck hasn't came in yet. Uh, we're, we're, we're waiting to see our, our buns and stuff. Don't worry, I can help you out. I'll just put some raw chicken in there. What? No, 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 that, that's not where the chicken goes. I'm, uh, get, get that out. Oh, uh, okay. But anyways, wait, what do you have in this room over here? Is this like the, the main kitchen area? And oh, uh, why is there a bunch of ice here? What the heck? This is our freezer where we keep all of our stuff, like our potatoes for our world famous fries and the uh, raw beef and raw chicken. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. I didn't think about having a freezer. I kind of just have all my materials out in the open. Uh, that's not healthy. Uh, you you clearly violated the health code. Uh, do I? No, I, I didn't violate anything, but whoa, what the heck is this over here? Is this like your cooking thingies or something? Yep, this is our, our food prep area. You can see they put the meat in here. It comes under this conveyor belt and then you can put the buns on it and ship it out to the customers. Ooh, fair enough, fair enough. That actually looks pretty awesome, but wait, is that it for your McDonald's? Uh, yeah, we also have a fry station and a drive-thru. Ooh, drive-thru. All right, well, anyways, this McDonald's was actually pretty nice. I I really like the gym, but I'm not gonna lie. I think mine is a little bit better. Like, look at mine. It literally looks like a beast of a McDonald's. Look how big it is. Uh, yeah, but uh, I would not want to walk in this. This would take days to walk through. But what would you rate my McDonald's on a scale of one to 10? Uh, I think I'd rate it a seven out of 10. I think I would rate it like a seven, yeah. What, a seven? Hmm, I guess that's all right. Well, anyways, since yours was a seven out of 10, come on, losers, let's go to my McDonald's. And, uh, the, the, what did you just call us? What? I didn't say anything. What in the world is this door? And, wait, why do you have a chicken on your wall? Uh, what do you mean I have a chicken on my wall? Uh, do you have a cow in your McDonald's? What the heck? Why do you have so many animals in here? Um, some of them got loose. Uh, Ruby, this is your McDonald's? What is this? What is this? Oh, oh, I see why there's so many animals in here now. There's cobwebs and boarded windows and uh, the, the, a bell? Ah, wait, turn it off, turn it off. That thing is so loud. Break it, break it. Anyways... I have all those cows and chickens there so people can see what they eat. It's a world-class experience. Oh, oh, oh. So your food is, like, really fresh. Yep. It's very fresh. But anyways, we have our soda dispensers. We've got a flat screen TV and a fire oh, pit. Why do you have the flat screen TV so close to the fireplace? You know it's going to melt, right? Why is the chair so close to the fire pit? We're going to melt. <laughs> why is there poop over here? Whoa, 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 wait, wait, wait. Hold on, baby. You got to explain the poop here. What is this? Those are bathroom signs. Oh, wait, can I check out what the inside looks like in... Ew, this place is disgusting. What do you mean it's disgusting? There's a lot of trash cans in there, so it's not disgusting. You have three industrial I trash cans in here. I in here, too, right in front of the toilet. There's five. Five? What the heck? What the heck, Ruby? Why do you have poop signs Wait, for your hey, bathroom? Hey, you guys haven't even seen the best part of the bathroom. There's a mirror right in front of the toilet. Uh, yeah, okay. I think I'm done with the bathroom. I think this mirror's a bit dirty. Oh, I guess so. I think I'm okay with the bathroom. But, Ruby, what the heck is this? Oh, um, this is the cash register. And, okay, I'm 
I'm not gonna lie, the cash register looks pretty normal so far, but hold up. Uh, oh, there's a chicken in the back kitchen. I, I want to see what's in the kitchen because, you know, if the kitchen is not clean, then that is uh, <laughs> very bad. Uh, wait, is this how you make your food? Oh, yeah. So this is what we use to stoke the fire. Those are the lava and the cows that we use to get the beef. Cooked automatically, by the way. Wow, wait, you, you use fire to cook your food? You know, they're like electricity is a thing, right? This cannot be up to code. The window is sideways! <laughs> That's the drive through Oh, oh, this is your drive through That's pretty nice, but wait, why is there just like a bunch of ladders and like construction stuff everywhere? Um, I didn't finish, uh, um, oh, making what, what is it? Why is there rotted spread? cheese on the wall? It's not rotting, it's American. What, is this a, a rat's nest? What is happening up here? So we keep the webs here because we have a pet spider that eats all of the bugs, and it keeps the place oh, clean. What? I don't think that's a uh, you should just hire a janitor, but wait, hold on. Was that your whole McDonald's? Uh, this is a very interesting... Oh, why is there a fridge up there? What? Dash, that's not it. There's a play place over here. Oh, uh, yeah, that isn't it. Oh, oh, yeah, right, right, like the playground area. I completely forgot about about this and oh uh, th this looks pretty nice it actually looks kind of normal here yeah okay never mind there's windows there's a kiddie pool and what do you mean the kids love windows yeah but wait the kids can get trapped here how are they supposed to get out once they fall in oh um i think this is for the parents to put their kids into when they're upset with them ah uh, that's interesting all right but anyways hold on let's check out what the slide it looks like once you're in the tube you're supposed to be able to see out of this window. Whoa, okay, that's pretty cool. But uh, anyways, was that your entire McDonald's? Um, kind of. There's a pool right here. I guess that's the last thing. All right, well, I guess I'm going to rate it. Wait, wait, uh... wait, 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 wait. Before you rate it, you have to try the food. And Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right, you're right. We haven't even tried any of the food yet, but I I'm not going to lie. I'm kind of scared to try the food. Yeah, sit down right here. Oh, uh, no, Cam, I, I don't want that seat. This oh, there we go. I'll take the seat now. There you go, there you go. Um, there's your Happy Meal. What? How long has this been sitting? here it, wait what uh it was just sitting here before us before we came oh don't worry about it here i found this one on the floor you can have that one well uh, i i'm i'm on a diet i'm i'm okay yeah hold on i'm thinking i'm gonna use this for the fire i'm gonna oh, donate what? it to the but fire but you have a gym in your mcdonald's you don't have to worry about dieting what's wrong ruby i i, I yeah your mcdonald's is uh it's a thing what are you talking about uh, uh it, 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 it looks nice not just like not really a restaurant i think like maybe if this was like i don't know like a scrapyard maybe it'd be a bit nicer uh, for that yeah if if I were to rate this, I'd give it like, hmm, maybe a two. Yeah, I mean, two is generous. Honestly, I think it'd probably be more like a one. I don't think this is legal. What? What are you talking about? You guys are mean. Uh, no, I mean, <laughs> if it was a scrapyard, though, it would be a 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah, this would be perfect. Oh, okay, I guess that's fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Too bad this isn't a scrapyard uh, build competition. But anyways, guys, how about we check out my McDonald's? Now, this is the ultimate uh, the mega the behemoth of a McDonald's. This is the most epic billionaire McDonald's ever. So uh, we can start right over here at the main entrance. Yeah. Yawn. I guess we can start. All right, well, uh, can I finally place my order? And yeah, yeah, Cam, you can finally place your order here. Let me just hop over here behind the cash register. And all right, everyone, uh, they take a look at the menu, you know, choose what you want, and uh, your order will be coming right up as soon as you order it. Mm, let's see. Uh, do you have any French fries? And uh, Oh, yeah, yeah, French fries. We actually have those inside of our Happy Meals. Uh, we don't sell them separately, unfortunately. Can I get French fries soggy? Uh, uh, soggy fries? Uh, we, we don't have those here. What? Oh, man. Uh, uh, did you just break my cash register? Hey, yo! Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, let me take uh, two Happy Meals. And, okay, two Happy Meals for you, uh, Ruby. What would you like? Um, I think I want this thing right here. And, oh, oh, you're not really supposed to hop. Oh, that, that was just the menu item. You're not supposed to, like, take it. Uh, wait, what did you even take? I took a cookie. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I, I, I guess you can just have that cookie. I can grab this one from over here and just uh, put it back. But anyways, here, uh, let me go get two Happy Meals for you, Cam. Let me just go behind the counter really quick. And uh, where are the Happy Meals at? Oh, here they are. Let me just grab these. And oh, wait, wait, while you guys are here, uh, would you guys uh, like any lobsters as well while you're at it? It's our new special menu item. Ooh, I want a lobster. I'll stick with a Happy Meal. All right, all right. Well, uh, here, in that case, I guess let me just grab one crate of lobsters and all right, everyone, your orders are coming right up here. Let me just uh, toss it over here. And then let me go around the counter like that. And all right, guys, here is your orders. Here is one lobster for you, Ruby. You got a whole crate. And then here is your Happy Meals, Kim. And that will be uh, 64 diamonds for you, Ruby, and 128 diamonds for you, Kim. Whoa, what? She gets an entire crate of lobster and I get two Happy Meals and mine's double ours? This is awesome. And yeah, well, I mean, the Happy Meals are pretty good. Have you seen what's inside of them? Uh, no, what's inside this? And... In 
Dude, there's not much stuff at all. This is not worth 128 diamonds. Uh, yeah, it is. Uh, it's because I touched it. That's why it's worth 128 dollars. All right, well then uh, you could just take these back. And, and hey, 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 no refunds, no refunds. You already ordered it. I, I didn't pay for it. What do you mean no refund? Uh, uh, well, you already opened it, so now you have to pay for it. I'm gonna take all your fries, Cam. What? No, okay. Uh, the Ruby's eating it, so she has to pay for it. Anyway, uh, can we go to the VIP area? And ooh, ooh yeah, yeah. You guys want to check out the VIP area? Here, just follow me right over here. All we gotta do is hit this button right here, and that'll teleport you to the vip area well it teleports you to the upstairs area and then the vip area is right over here whoa teleportation all right well i want two happy meals at vip pricing now and oh vip pricing that'll be like 500 diamonds each never mind what the heck uh, dude you said vip price okay you know what fine 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 i'll give you a friend's discount i'll give you one for free just take a seat i have something cool to show you guys oh okay and wait, wait wait what was it that you guys wanted again just give me a chicken sandwich um yeah just give me one of those too and okay okay chicken sandwich it is let me just find where they're I, oh, chicken burger over there. Perfect. Let me just grab two of those. And all right, guys, uh, you see that uh, barrel up in the VIP area? Uh, yes. Why don't you just go ahead and take a look inside of it? Your food should be delivered there automatically any second now. Oh, wait. Yeah, there they are. I see them. Chicken burgers. Yep. That means you don't have to walk all the way down there and grab your food. And, you know, it, it's pretty awesome. And oh, I see you're still enjoying your lobster. Oh, yes. Well, anyways, Dash, is that all you have to your McDonald's? And, uh, uh, oh, no, there's still quite a bit left. Right over here is the go-kart track. So, you know how Ruby's McDonald had that little playground area? We have uh, a go-kart track for ours. Oh, I want to put on this helmet. And, yeah, yeah, everyone make sure to grab a helmet. You know, safety is very important. And right over here, we have the go-karts. Everyone, pick a go-kart you can hop in, and then we could have an epic race. I want this one. Uh, all right, um, um, can we start? And, yeah, yeah, let's go in three, two, one. Whee! Let's go! And, oh, no, oh, no, wait, I'm last. How am I last? And first. I'm second. Uh, uh, well, actually, guys, it's, it's uh, first of two laps. All right, well, then I got first. And, uh, actually, wait, it's first of uh, three laps. Hold on, hold on. Uh, I was here uh, earlier. I win. And uh, actually, it's it's first of uh, five laps, and uh, I, I win, yeah. I got first three times. All right, well, anyways, that is my entire McDonald's. We've also got a washroom down there and also a drive through but that's pretty much it. What do you guys think? I think it was okay. If I were to rate it, I'd give it a six out of ten. The prices were crazy. What? Six out of ten? The only reason the prices are crazy is because it is a VIP McDonald's. Oh, I guess if that's the case, then I'll give it an eight. <gasps> an eight? Let's go. And wait, wait, hold on, Cam. I think that ties both of our scores together. Uh, yeah, I think the only way we could settle the tie is with that guy. And yeah, hold on. We need that McDonald's guy to come back again. Where's he at? Wait, there he is. Uh, wait, what? Where? Oh, there he is. Uh, hey, what, what, what's up, dude? So, uh, wait, what's that in your hand? Oh, it's uh, nothing. Uh, don't worry about it. But uh, I see you guys have finished the McDonald's. And oh, oh, yeah, yeah. We finished all of the McDonald's builds. Which one do you think is the best? Actually, I think all of them are pretty good. And Wait, what, really? Uh, yeah, they all look pretty nice to me. Well, even mine? Yeah, that one looks especially great to bring in a lot of customers. But uh, anyway, guys, uh, here's your prize. And, oh, wait, we finally get our prize. Uh, wait, what is that? All right, well, sayonara. Thanks for the McDonald's suckers. <laughs> and, wait, what? What? What the heck? Did we just get scammed? Wait, what? And, oh, no, guys. Uh, I, I think we got scammed by that guy. My McDonald's. I work so hard on mine. <sighs> well, I guess we're not getting that 100K. That was pretty crazy. And if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.